am I the a-hole for wanting to be intimate with my wife? I don't know, Sophia. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is Now, this story is to answer the question, how should you handle disagreements when married? And it comes from Turbulent Context 944, who says, I, male 28, dated my wife, let's call her Rena, female 26, for three years before we got married. And during that time, she made it known that she would like to remain a virgin until marriage. We both met in a religious event and are both church going and religious. This is not a problem. She's overall a wonderful person, the most caring, loving, sweet wife I could ever have. And not to mention beautiful as well. She takes care of me and even took some time to take care of my mother when she was in the hospital due to a car accident and has no problem with babysitting my sister's kids, five and seven, who love her very much. Dude. What can't she do? Super girlfriend. He sounds amazing. Everyone tells me how lucky I am and I feel the same. We've been married uh, for four months now and live together in my apartment. Her grandma had been sick for years and her dying wish was to see Rena get married before she passes. I don't know if we do poll this right now, but I'm curious in the comments. Do you get married for a, like if you have a, uh, you know, someone in your life you love a lot? Do you get married? Like if your relative's going to die, do you get married? <laughs> yeah, I don't them? think we need to do a poll necessarily, <laughs> but I'm just curious. I'm curious. <laughs> this is disgusting. I'm very curious. Yeah, is going to die. Do you marry? Do you marry? Yeah, yes or no. I'm curious. Someone you really love, you know? Someone that like, you know, not just like anybody, you know what I mean? But anyway, I'm curious. Not just any old grandma on the not street. Not just She's any old yours. grandma. A super grandma. Okay, I'm curious what you have to say. So, Rena is the only girl among eight cousin so she was very special and close to her grandparents knowing this i proposed to her as her whole family and mine have basically become one and it was a no-brainer at that point we got married in the courthouse within a week after knowing the prognosis we went straight to the hospital and had a small party there with her since she had a private room and the hotel staff allowed it sadly she passed about 17 Wow. You know, kind of beautiful though, you know, that they were able to yeah, yeah. have the as long as everyone's on board. Yeah. Like which he, he was the one that did it. So he was definitely on board. It's kind of kind of beautiful. But later that night, later that night, Sophia, after getting to the hotel from the wedding, she tells me she thinks we should wait until we marry in a church because she considers this marriage legal, but not anointed by God. And it's not right. It's not right. We cuddle, kiss. But then when it gets heated, she stops in midway and tells me the time will come and we will enjoy it. Our families are planning a big church wedding for us in April when we will be fully yoked. But I don't know how I could wait that long. I guess fully yoked is like fully married. There you go. It is terribly uncomfortable cuddling in bed with her and wanting to make sweet, sweet love with her knowing I can't. She moved in with me in my one bedroom apartment a month after our marriage. So it's been three months now of cohabiting temporarily before we move into a bigger place. I feel in every way we are a married couple, not newlyweds, but more like an old couple because of a lacking in the intimacy department. We do groceries together, clean, cook, take care of each other, except that, that part. She says she believes our first time will be special since we will have it during our honeymoon in Spain right after the wedding. We have both been a big fan of Spain. Anyway, the other night we were watching a movie and started kissing that gradually ended up getting more and more heated. She stops me after some time and we had an argument because yes, I know I was in the wrong and didn't control myself. I guess I should have asked what marriage and spicy sleep really meant to her before proposing instead of assuming, but I also think I'm being deprived of something important in a relationship. She didn't speak to me for two days. And just a while ago, we had an honest conversation and I've decided that we should just move back to our parents until our actual church wedding in April. We originally thought living together since we were legally married would be good, would be a good start at knowing each other. But I guess this is for the best. I still have this nagging feeling in my head. So am I the a-hole for wanting intimacy for my wife? Also, I never once forced myself on her. Everything we do is consensual. And I always stop as soon as she says no, because I respect her. I guess I'm just frustrated most of all and i want to know if i'm an a-hole for feeling this way sophia yes. we have edits we have we got it all we have comments oh my god we have updates oh my god but you know what we have to do first what? we have to talk about let's it. talk because we I have to think, break it I got down. thoughts and feelings. So interesting situation yeah. that OP is in. Um, I, yeah. My initial thoughts are because someone said that they get uh, both POVs. And I think I'm yeah. on that kind of train right now. Yes. Yes. Because on one hand, you have the wife who obviously we're looking at it. We're like, oh, well, she said she wanted to wait until marriage. But also if this is part of her religion of like wanting yeah. to wait until marriage, mm -hmm. it makes sense that she wants that in a church because it's part of her religion. 
Uh, yeah. So, like, I understand that part. But then I also understand his part a little bit because I think that a lot of people who do wait for marriage don't tend to live together before that. Yes. Yes. This is a very, like, different scenario for for this type of situation. Like, a very religious, like, uh, religious celibacy and abstinence before marriage yeah. type deal. I Honestly, I agree with you. I think I kind of see both sides where there was one point that he mentioned right before he finished this part where he said, you know, maybe I should have communicated more on what that meant. And I think ideally both of them should have like tried to come to the table because like yeah. OP knowing that he's like, he's in his mind. He's like, oh, I'm excited for this to finally happen. And he's thinking that the legal marriage was it. Yeah. Right. And she should have been like, actually, this is what I'm thinking is a marriage in my mind. Yes. So like the ideal scenario is kind of what he said where, hey, we talk about this before I do the proposal. So that way we kind of know before he does the big proposal and they see grandma and everything, they know both of them what they're getting into and they can either agree or yeah. maybe disagree. Or or maybe like maybe at that point it's like, hey, do we move up the church wedding mm. to like to a little bit make sooner? That, yeah, to a little bit sooner and maybe like you do the like the church wedding there, like you rush the church wedding and then you go to grandma's for the reception, kind of like they did, like yeah. you know, from courthouse to the their grandma in the hospital. So yeah, I feel like yeah, I see I see both sides. I, I don't think are they both the a hole and not the a hole at the same time for not communicating? Yeah, I think I'm trying to think. I think that they're not necessarily yeah, I think they're to me, I don't think there are any a holes, but they need yeah. to communicate. Yeah, they just need to communicate. I think there's That's... a problem and it's communication. Yeah, a hundred percent. A hundred percent. What a fitting thing for a Lenka Le Chat to say. That's I have the cat never French. heard that. Oh, I have never heard of that saying in my I wonder if is that a French saying? I, I don't know. Are you French? Well, uh, we have uh, more story to read, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to get into this first edit. So thanks, everyone, for your feedback. I was reading everything and appreciate your points. I do want to point out that we are not getting divorced or annulled, and I know I have no right to force her into anything. Yes. I just want to let out how I feel. Also, like I mentioned in the comments, we also would like a larger wedding, although it takes longer to plan since her and my relatives are available in April and have already taken PTO. That is an important thing to consider where it's like weddings take so much planning and logistics and they honestly would probably have to scrap most of what they planned for which would be pretty like hard to do yeah for everyone involved i feel like because like maybe people can't make it like I there's mean, a lot yeah, of yeah if you have weddings are that are not in your country hard like yeah. any, anything abroad. and just to bone to bone maybe it's too large of an order i will wait for her of course and i value her virtues and how strong she is with her principles uh we didn't talk about spicy sleep before the court house wedding i guess because we both had differing assumptions on the relationship and despite her wanting the church wedding before we moved in she offered to move in as a compromise since she knows what she's asking is also not easy honestly it sounds like and i think they moved back separately like just before they finished the first part oh oh okay i, th I think so i honestly think at that point I, I see where she's coming from she's like hey here's a little give but honestly it's like worse yeah for op because yeah. it sounds like it sounds like op was like totally on board like they were living separately they had the relationship it was like kind of gel like working well but now he's like yo i'm right here and yeah i feel like this she isn't working. put the pressure on her not in like a she's in the wrong or anything but i think yeah, she put yeah. a little bit of pressure on herself because yes. they were technically legally married yes. um and then she was like oh well we should move in together that will you know that will tide you over well intentioned yeah, but, but not, had yeah. unintended consequences yes, exactly. and i don't think another small gathering is necessary because at this point it'll be all just for show and take away the uniqueness of the church wedding and the feelings involved if we had uh, too many wedding related events. I wanted to feel special on that day because she is and to feel like how a bride does on that one special day. Legally though, she has started using my surname because she acknowledges we are married but that our church wedding will wed us in all ways. We had the courthouse wedding but didn't invite our minister because as I mentioned, we wanted the church wedding to be on our big special day only. What I meant by controlling myself is my frustration, not necessarily my desires to take it further. Also, her parents have never told us we had to wait uh, or our church. They consider us married already. I guess for my wife, it's more of a symbolism of marrying in the church and for the honeymoon to be in every sense of the word. And like we said before, this was simply a issue of communication. Like if that is what she wants and believe that is a million times okay. Infinity times okay. It's just the the, the matter of like both getting letting on. Letting him know that. Yeah, Get on the yeah same letting page. him know that. that. They can plan. Having spicy sleep and then going on a honeymoon defeats the purpose and I also think it would be great to do it then.
then. We fly to Spain the next day after the wedding and don't think we would even have the energy for anything the night of the church wedding. That's a great point. That is yeah, be actually like super jet lagged. Yeah, that is a fantastic point. What the heck? She is not a well as well to clear things out right it oh is God. i mean i guess it's always a possibility yeah. but i mean she did i mean i feel like it was pretty clear that it was really just really religious that is so true we have seen bigger plot yeah. twists on this show to it's be true. clear oh my god she is not a as well to clear things up i know everyone doesn't believe in abstinence and applying bible principles in life and i understand that but i request to please respect ours right now she will be staying with her parents but we are planning on talking to a counselor as well as our minister if we could change any arrangements if needed about our thoughts on spicy sleep in our unique circumstance thanks that is a another good thing i think in addition to now having it seems like they've now we're talking about it now they're living separately so i think that will you know help over OP kind of get back to a place where he was before where it wasn't like such a temptation and now they're getting some counseling handling it pretty well yeah what, what do you think i know i think they're on the right track i feel like yeah. they talked about the issue and then they're making the moves to figure it out sophia why do i feel like i i feel a plot twist divorce coming up why do i feel that i don't know i feel i think you feel that because you've been burned so many times yeah you know nothing so often in these stories it doesn't work out and uh this You're is going too for well the other shoe to drop it is going too well yeah. at this point sophia i feel like riley would get on board <laughs> oh okay also to address the elephant yeah. that's not in the room a lot of you were commenting before oh hey riley's getting back so oh hey gonna I wanna... how's vacation no riley is here. Why isn't he here? He's not here because he, he booked a very late flight with a uh, certain paper towel tube airplane. Spirited airline. A certain cardboard with box with wings that was not able to, that literally completely canceled and was already a red eye. So he's going to be back hopefully tonight. He did text an update that I did not read, uh, but I, I will read he later. he's coming around six. He said that. He said that today. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, ladies and gentlemen. Also, we're going to be at VidCon this Wednesday through Saturday. If you are going to be at VidCon, please say hi say to hi. us. Say hi. Please. Oh, Sophia, you want to maybe, okay, story time. Uh, you're running to someone oh, yes. in yes. Culver City. Uh, I was in Culver City with a friend on Friday and a lovely, one of one of you lovelies, uh, uh, your name was savannah if you're there came up and said hi it was really nice i was i was very shout excited out shout out savannah that was that your first solo fan interaction oh yeah solo because the other two were with first was with riley and then the rest uh, the, the second one was with you guys and that was my first solo yeah i was like oh my god it's so nice to right. meet you <laughs> the the crazy thing is when we go all together uh me and sam went to vegas at like the end of 2022 to do some man on the street content and we he wore like the orange jacket the amount of times we got recognized was like it's the orange jacket it was infinitely more than we'd ever been recognized like even even to this day like i think if we're with all four of us together and at vidcon we might, might we might yeah. see some friends some okay friends some okay family I'm, my mom's been making me clothes so that I'm I'm stylish at, at VidCon. Oh yeah, really? She's, been, she's Dude, made me a new outfit. The, Sam and Sophia's mom is like amazing at both design and clothing yeah. and architecture. She's, she's a jack of all trades. What a what a gem. What a gem. But ladies and gentlemen, there is a gem that is the reveal of this story. Of whether or not it ends happily or... Or divorce, like I'm predicting. Do we think divorce? Here. Do we oh, think I divorce? There was another poll. We can end this poll. So this was uh, most... 68% said, no, I would not marry someone because my grandma is going... Oh, what if... Wait, wait, wait. What if we call... We have spicy sleep. What about dirt sleep? Dirt sleep. Have, have we already talked dirt about sleep. that? Dirt sleep. That's good. Dirt I sleeping. like that. Dirt sleep. All the sleeps. All okay, the sleeps. Okay, wait. What is the question? You know, that is a great divorce? question. Yes. Divorce. Yes On or no. The horizon. <laughs> Are they going to divorce? I just have a, I have no, I have nothing to stand no on, faith. but I have a feeling. But you know what this story is about? Pee -hee. John. What? Faith. Gosh, diddly darn. If you're not right, Sophia. Well, let's figure out what happens. All right. Let's take a pause in the story. I got to talk about something. Talk about it. I've been called out. By who? By one Miss J Bird on YouTube. And do you know what they said about me? Tell me what they said. They said, and I quote, John needs to use ZocDoc for his yawning. Do we not do long streams, Sophia? John's been known to have the occasional yawn. Is that a crime? I'm actually not tired. Look how I feel so energetic. Yeah. I think my brain 
just needs more oxygen to be able to converse and speculate and ideate in these conversations that we have on the show. I agree. You know, um, but yeah. I do think I need to take Miss J Bird up. You know what we need to do, Sophia? Give me. We need to use ZocDoc. Use it or lose your life. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare high quality in-network doctors and choose the right one for your needs and click instantly to book an appointment. We're talking about in-network appointments with more than 100,000 healthcare providers across every specialty. From mental health to dental health, eye care to skin care, and much more. You can filter your doctors who take your insurance, who are located nearby, who are a good fit for any medical need that you might have, and who are highly rated by verified patients. You can also see their actual appointment openings, choose a time that works for you, and click to instantly book a visit. Plus, ZocTalk appointments happen fast! Lickety split. Typically within just 24 to 72 hours of booking, you can even score some same-day appointments. Uh. It's pretty great, right? It's pretty amazing. Listen, Sophia, I use ZocDoc. We use ZocDoc. You should freaking use it too, guys. Use ZocDoc. So stop putting off those doctor's appointments and go to ZocDoc.com slash OKOP to find and instantly book a top-rated doctor today. That's ZocDoc.com slash OKOP. ZocDoc.com slash OKOP. Let's get back into the show. So, a commenter asked for a relevant comment. Ask OP if he had discussed spicy sleep after marriage due to his wife's beliefs. OP says, yes, she is very honest and is actually very curious about spicy sleep and even talks about how this is a very spiritual connection. But she would really like us uh, to wed in the church and have our marriage be blessed. Update number one. It's been a while since I posted about my situation with my wife and I just want to give a little update. I talked to Rena, his wife, the day after I posted and talked about what exactly is holding her back and asked if she has any concerns. She could open up to me and talk about it like a married couple. If she even considered us one. Oof. Ooh, youch. That was a little bit of... Uh, Claws out. That was that was a little meow. Uh. <laughs> we need a little more... Put, put some milk purr. in front of this kitty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shout out. Let go. Let go. She told me she had seen the post and had actually read a lot of the comments you guys posted and realized it stems from her feeling everything was so rushed and it was not how she expected to get married and in her head and what comes after that. Which I think is a valid feeling. They did get, they did have to rush the wedding for the grandma. They had this whole thing planned out and now they're like, oh, let's do it immediately. That's totally fair. That's a, that's a big change, big change to deal with. She wanted to make her Nana happy, but at my expense. It dawned on her after our small party in the hospital how she didn't feel ready for it because she didn't quote unquote feel married, thus letting me know later on that she wanted to wait. She has apologized about how she handled things and thanked me for being patient. I have done the same and we have been talking about it every day, although she still lives with her parents. We changed our plans altogether and have decided to do an elopement and be married in Rome. Ooh. Honestly, kind of fine. Better and better. I like the solution. We contacted a relative we have living there who set up everything from the venue, photographer, and the minister. Wow. We decided on a little ceremony by the lake with just us, the minister, our relative, and the photographer. We are going to be leaving in a week, and we are very excited about it. And since we will be there, we'll have our honeymoon in Spain right after as planned since it's only a few hours away. Okay. I mean, low-key, kind of perfect. Kind of perfect. Kind of perfect. The April wedding will still push through for our family and friends as more of a vow renewal slash reception. Love that. We have informed them about it and they do understand how our case has been very unique and are very happy and supportive regardless. Our elopement is simply a ceremony for the both of us, not thinking about other people for once. We are already looking for a bigger apartment for us when we return from the trip so Rena could have her own working studio as my apartment is too small. We will be updating if we can after the trip as your input has really put things in perspective. Thanks for everything and it really helped us look deeper into the foundation of our principles and our priority. It's perfect. perfect. It's perfect. But no. What? It's not over. Oh. <laughs> you think we're ending here and it's all just going to be peachy keen. Well, peachy it keen. could be. Yeah, well, you know what, Sophia? Guess what the poll says? 61% of people think there will be divorce. 61 of you hate love that's a majority okay i am i am putting my name on the line that this is gonna end in the messiest divorce you've ever seen on the show place your bets 
I'm, 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 I'm putting all my chips on the table. Whoa. That's what I'm doing putting today. all of your chips on the table? All of my chips. What if, what if you're wrong? I put all my chips. They're it gone. is what it is. It is what it is. All right. Well, you might I, you might win big. Or I might lose big. Wait, hey, 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 stop. Stop. <laughs> it started dropping. It went from 61 ah. to 58%. Ah. Guys, stay with me. Orange Army, where are you at? Stand up. <laughs> Get your up. juices flowing. But ladies and gentlemen, we have a final update. Date. After this, this is it. This is it. Okay. Ooh. And it's six months Ooh. later. Get ready. Buckle your seatbelts. This is this is for all the marbles. It's been six months since I posted this, and I just want to give you guys an update. Rena and I finally had our beautiful church wedding last month. Suck it. You were wrong. <laughs> oh, oh, there's more to the story. <laughs> It's more. It's more. It was a sunny and warm day, and she looked stunning. And it was better than anything we both ever imagined. Oh yeah, totally getting divorced. <laughs> yeah, it's, totally divorced. It is guaranteed divorce. There's literally not a ticket down. Oh, uh, you know when they call you beautiful, you're headed straight <laughs> exactly. for the door. That's right. Our families helped a lot in the wedding preparations, and as I mentioned in the previous post, my wife did move out to live with her parents until we got married in church. Uh, we made sure to talk thoroughly about how we felt and if this was really what she wanted. We met every week and talked every night until the day we finally got married in church. Mid-February, there were talks and doubts, doubts about the relationship and if our expectations of a marriage were aligned and whether it was best to just hold off on the wedding to see if we were indeed compatible and if our courtroom wedding was merely an obligation we had to fulfill before her nan passing. It was just a box to check. No! That's it. No. That's all. It's a it's forced marriage. Just for, for tax here. purposes? Just for grandma. No. <laughs> it was a difficult month for us. Really difficult, guys. I, I don't know if they're going to make it through. We talked about her fears, and she explains it was just that she has had this belief in her mind about keeping herself pure in her big day, and it was purely hers alone and not her family or anybody else. We did go through marriage counseling to help more in dealing with our situation. During this time, I moved to a larger place and found a better paying job and got busy. That's great. She started working from home and accompanied her brother, uh, who moved to Japan to help him get settled. She was there for about two weeks and actually had a nice break. We both had a lot of time and it helped strengthen our relationship to be honest and to realize how much we really wanted to be with each other. <laughs> yeah, right. We just got back from our two week honeymoon to the number two in our bucket list, New Zealand. Oh my God. More, more travel. These guys are they're travelers These over guys here. guys are Little. travel fiends. Little explorers. Tr travel, I fiend for travel as much as I fiend for Jesus. We originally planned to go to Spain, but we decided to change itineraries since we planned to travel to Europe in the future so Spain could wait. It was wonderful, but very exhausting and costly trip, but so worth it. We drove in a camper van and stayed at the campgrounds every night under the stars. Divorce. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the seeds for divorce. You look into the skies and you're like, these are infinite people that I could be with other, other than the you. The stars will guide your hand. Exactly. The sign. The divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Look to the stars. You see divorce is in you. Lion, Lion King. King. Yeah. That's right. I hiked a lot and basically just spent time together and enjoyed nature. And yes, for everyone waiting for an update, we had our first intimate moment. Whoa! Uh -oh. I caramba <laughs> under the stars. <laughs> Zooey mama. <laughs> Zooey mama. First time was pretty uncomfortable for her. We were also in a van, so not the most pleasant Wait, place. What? Yeah. Wait, they waited that long and then did it in a van? Yeah, yeah, I can just get a Honda Odyssey and, you know, just do do your... He's like, babe, babe, this is going to be so romantic. Just this is going to be so great. Got a whole air mattress, babe. Yeah, it's going to no, be... Don't worry, we can put the great. seats down. It's fine. Look, I'll light a candle. It's not a fire hazard, I swear. Oh, my God. And she still has this thing where she can't stop overthinking every time we are doing it. Haha. -ha. We are getting better at it, though. Oh, and we have actually slowly learned each other's wants and dislikes. She actually initiates it from time to time, and it made me happy, but also relieved that she urges to do it too and letting me know. But her family moved her stuff into my new place while we were on vacation, so it was a relief not to have to move stuff again after a long, exhausting trip and just be able to rest coming home. Jet lag is still really bad, but just thought of writing this now while my wife is sleeping next to me. We are both scared. Terrified. <laughs> Divorced. Divorce is imminent. All we of are John's both. chips are on the line, and we have one we have, paragraph left. We have, we have a paragraph and a half. Excuse me, madam. I should put money, uh, money on this.
Right? Yeah, we should have made, we should have made a bet. Oh my gosh! Another Venmo for me to send Sophia that she will hound Dude, me I'm for. Money. Money. Oh, <laughs> we are both scared for our future's newlyweds, but also excited for our little family. Rena, my wife, and I hope to have kids in the near future, but for now, we have decided on becoming fur parents first and looking into shelters once we are full. Ah. Monster. She also read the post I wrote before just recently and found the comment about having spicy sleep and skydiving to be hilarious, and she is quite curious about us doing it. Lol. What? I know you're not very experienced in the spicy sleep department, uh, Opie's wife, but um, that sounds terrible. This just sounds like public indecency. You're in the sky. Oh, you're uh, not. You're in the sky. Who cares? What? Uh, what are the are the police gonna follow you in a freaking like police helicopter? Like, let's. Get him, boy. Like, stop, stop. Stop. Freeze. They're just like flying. They have like a giant bullhorn. They're like, sir, pull you're, over. you're disrespecting the decency of the skies. Pull over now. Uh, eject your parachute immediately before you eject something else, sir. Oh, good lord. Time to read about divorce. Um, So if that does happen, that's a whole post in itself. And we are now divorced. I'm just kidding. Wait, there's a there's a comment. Oh, there's a comment? Oh, there's still hope. There there's still hope. Oh, I can't believe I says closer to Sky Here, Daddy. Read it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are now divorced. <laughs> Woo! I was right. I was right. Oh, good Woo! stuff. Guys. You know what? We don't get a lot of wholesome stories. You know, this is great. This is uh we should definitely do uh, let's add a wholesome story to the weekly rotation, honestly. A wholesome, wholesome uh story vibes. Those are great. So let's go back to our question. How should you handle disagreements when married? How do we think they did? Um, I think they were a little bit rocky in the beginning, but then they got through it and they handled it like champs. Yeah, I will be honest, like I think this was a near perfect interaction because I do empathize with both sides where like think about it there when they were uh planning the rushed uh court wedding grandma was in the hospital we don't know when she's gonna go they're rushing to coordinate all of the logistics so i could see how both of them it kind of like slipped their minds yeah the communication stuff is kind of fair considering they were going through a very stressful time yeah <laughs> oh, sorry holly just commented spicy falling <laughs> This is, we need to just find a whole, a whole, a dictionary of spicy blank. Yeah. Well, we have, we've got a uh, dirt sleep, dirt sleep and oh yeah. Sleep and then spicy. Yeah. yeah those, sleep those and spicy. Things. But yeah, I, I honestly think this is a pretty textbook example because like in a marriage and a relationship over years and years, there will be miscommunications, oh, yeah, be disagreements. Tiffs. And this one like felt very reasonable that it, it kind of happened. It, it totally happened on accident. Nobody, I don't think anybody had any misaligned intentions and or what is it malicious intentions and when the issue was brought up they both seem to be pretty like pretty great at communicating and breaking it down i'm curious chat if you uh have any disagreements on that but i honestly think like they talked it out they got counseling they found some some solutions to you know beat things up ricky agreed I, for the first time in a long time, I don't know if I could really kind of critique anything here. I think they did a good. But yeah, that's good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. But this episode is how many minutes? He's 39. So probably really like 39. 35. That means we got a whole nother gosh diddly darn story in this right here episode, my ladies and gentlemen. So uh, I'm going to hop on into it. I feel like we should do one more story. I think so. Maybe S3. Let's do it. Am I the a-hole for having seg photos of my wife that she sent me during the dating phase? That's a good question. Well, this also is to answer the question, how should you handle disagreements when married? So this comes from TA Wife Picks 123123 who says, my wife and I early 40s have been together for more than 15 years married for 12 years we met online because of shared interests we live in different cities and we used to message each other and talk on the phone things became flirty when we would send a lot of spicy selfies almost daily to each other it was just our love language and we had not even met in person at this point it was clear to us that we were meant to be together and she moved to my city after a year we dated we got engaged after a year and married after that it was the best decision and we are both happily married with three kids that is a, a lot of spicy exchanges daily. Over there. Ooh. Daily. Every single day. Yeah. Getting that snap score. Ew, I was gonna say. Crushed. <laughs> I had an external hard drive where I save all of my old movies, photos, documents, etc. That 
is a good question. I and that I don't like I'm curious about your thoughts on this because I think that when I think when you break up with someone I think it is respectful to get delete those pictures. Oh yeah. Get, a, yeah. get them get them all get out. Get rid yeah. of those. But yes. if you're if you never broke up with them. If you're married for 15 years with three kids and everything is looking great, do you delete those pictures? And also to I don't know if this is playing devil's advocate or, or what, but is it almost better for him to intentionally put it on a like hidden away hard drive versus like keeping it on his phone or something like that in case like yeah who knows one of the kids goes through it or gets stolen or y- y- you know what i mean like it it feels like more it feels secure. like he's doing the right, i don't know it feels like you may be doing it uh, apparently. apparently there's a hard drive there's a hard drive with we, sexy that's, pictures on it that's that's one thing we do not need apparently kid reporting on <laughs> so apparently i've never seen spicy pictures before, <laughs> <It's> pictures before. <laughs> But it's quite <laughs> thrilling. <laughs> Yikes. So I was backing up said hard drive on Sunday and I thought it would be fun to show my wife all the photos she sent me during our dating phase. My wife saw those pictures and asked me, why'd you save them? Uh-oh. Yeah. oh Why'd you do it? Why'd you do it, punk, huh? You got an answer? You're just going to sit there looking stupid? Just Husband. sit there looking pretty. Looking like a doofus with a big old hard drive full of my things. I told her that it's just a memory and I sometimes go through them and remember our dating phase. My wife asked me if I find her sexy in those photos and I said yes. She was a bit upset by my answer. Do you? Is there an ICU I in the chat? I understand. Guys, put an ICU in the chat right now if you see one. We moved on from the topic, but I could see from her mood that it was a bit off during the day. And at night, I asked her if it bothered her that I saved those pictures of her without her permission. She said no. And those were meant for me. And it's flattering that I saved them and find them hot. She asked me if I liked how she looked in the pictures or how she looks now. There it is. There it is. My wife used to be quite small and petite when we were dating. However, she has given birth to three kids and of course does not look the same anymore. She has also gained 20 pounds during the pandemic. Not bad at all, which bothers her too. I tried to be politically correct and, and told her that the 25 year old me liked the girl in the picture, but the 40 year old me likes her as she is now. Mm. How do we, how, quick, how do we feel? How do we feel about that answer, Sophia? It seems like he's like trying to be honest and not hurtful at the same time. I honestly think right now no one's the a-hole. I think she's feeling a little insecure. Uh, yeah. And I don't think he's done anything wrong and I think he's trying to make her not insecure uh, and maybe maybe this is not exactly the best way for her to hear it but I don't think anyone's done anything wrong unfortunately sometimes we have insecurities and we can't always control how other people it's it's true and I, I feel like I feel like this is I mean he said yeah Brittany John says honestly, stop it I not don't think he said anything wrong correct there. yeah he could have he maybe he could have said I love both yeah maybe that would have been better I love both pictures versions of, of you yeah, yeah. which kind of to me is like what he's saying yeah I think but I think because she's already feeling insecure it might not be received that way yes 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 i think so i think so but we carry on so she told me that seeing those pictures made her feel very insecure and jealous and she does not like the fact that i still look at those pictures i find it hilarious that she is jealous of her past self she asked me that since i have her for the rest of my life would it be okay to stop looking at those pictures now and delete i feel those are amazing memories from our early dating days and i want to keep them however she feels that the girl in those pictures looks so much different from her now she feels insecure about her body and me looking at those pictures makes her feel bad. I'm in a dilemma. I want to respect her request, but I also do not want to lose the memories from one of the best times in my life. Would I be an a-hole if I did not delete these pictures of her? Is her insecurity about herself valid in this case? And if any other married women have gone through a similar situation? I am curious to that point. If we have any callers that could help illustrate on this matter that have maybe been in a similar situation where a significant other, maybe you're married, maybe you're in a long-term relationship, whatever, but message Riley on Discord and we will chat with you after the show to get your take if you have a similar story and Sophia will be responding to you. Be O'Reilly. So, well, are we waiting? Is the we'll wait till the end. end. Okay. We'll wait till the end of the story. Well, then, yeah, yeah. We'll line right them up. now. Talk I to me thoughts. right now. Mm-hmm. Tell me. I think when if someone asks you to delete pictures of themselves, especially intimate pictures, I think you should. However, I think in this case they should also have a conversation about her feelings. Yes, I think you are a hundred percent right. Like basically, like hey, like anytime you ask me anything of that, the answer should always be yes. Uh, in addition to that, I would love to like sit down and like have a open and honest conversation conversation of like why you're feeling those feelings if there's anything I can do to kind of make you feel less insecure because I love the way you look I think you are beautiful yada yada 
And I think is exactly what you say. I think that's exactly what you say. Because like, it's it's kind of like, like, how can I help? You know, it's not like going in and, because some people could go in and presume like, oh, do you like want help losing weight? Do you want like, come kind of come in with all of these uh, presumptions about like what they think they want? But that frames it and is like, you tell me how to help you. Yes. Because I want you to get back to feeling that way. Uh, yes, I agree. Yes. Um, so, and also, uh, for some people asking, it is just the like intimate pictures of her, not all of the pictures of them together. Yes. And then also, I'm very curious for a quick poll. Is OP the a-hole? I... Is OP the a-hole? I'm very cu curious on what you all have to say on this matter. However, there is more. Ooh to this story. I think right now, Opie is only the a-hole if he pictures without her not. I agree with that. Let's get into some relevant comments. So, uh, commenter, you did the right thing. But if you like the photos so much, it's hard for you to give them up. They're memories. Maybe it'll be downvoted, but if she's insecure about the comparison, maybe it's better to make an effort to improve the present rather than erase the past. Opie responds, I feel she looks beautiful and does not really need to improve. Ha! I don't like that comment. <laughs> yeah, right? I feel she eventually, when you, when, honestly, it's like, I know this might be downvoted it's kind of like, I don't mean to sound racist, but <laughs> it's giving the same energy. Are you sweating? No. I am sweating. We're always sweating. I'm always sweating. Unfortunately, all the windows are out. It's getting hot, though, in the in uh, Santa Monica. We will later. Let's open the door a little. Sure, sure, sure. Do that later. But for now, I feel she eventually realized how silly it is that she is insecure of herself. I just don't want to delete the pics now and then regret it later when she changes her mind. Does that mean he's changing his perspective? We'll see. Commenter uh, downvoted nutso. Your wife is deeply insecure. <laughs> God, you guys are incredibly harsh. Reddit! I, okay, I, okay, I want like Reddit to just think about anytime someone's taken a picture of them and then they've looked at it and not liked how they looked in it. You're telling me 100% Mr. Commenter who said nutso, call the wife nutso. You're telling me 100% of the pictures, you're like, ah, oh, I love these. Put these you're on a wall you're, in the MoMA. You're so photogenic that not a single picture of you has ever been bad. Yeah, freaking right. You wanted to delete it. You know what? You're ugly. You're ugly that's right. inside and out. Yup. Mostly out. Inside and that's out me too saying that. ugly. And it's yeah. you starring, yeah. starring you. <laughs> but Opie responds. I would not call her desperately insecure. I can understand her feeling bad for me lusting over her pictures from 15 years ago. She is absolutely beautiful even now, but maybe she feels bad that she is not the same person from 15 years ago when I have not changed much. Subtle flex, but okay. But we have an update from the next day, 24 hours later. I wrote a post yesterday about my wife wanting me to delete her spicy photos that she sent me during our dating period. I wanted to thank everyone for so many mature and nice suggestions. I know my life is not as scandalous as many people who post on this forum, uh, but wanted to give an update on what happened. We put our kids to bed last night and I was sitting in the bedroom. My wife came to me and started cuddling. She asked me if I deleted the photos and I told her I have not. I have not deleted these photos and I feel really attached to those memories of our early dating days and it reminds me how far we have come. I told her that I understand Understand that we both do not look the same as we did 15 years ago, but my love and attraction to her has only grown. When we started dating, she was the hot girl online that who I had so much in common with. But after 12 years of marriage, I still see her the same, but more. Now that hot girl is my family. And she made three gorgeous mini versions of me. Two boys and one girl. Every, they all everyone's look like hot. Me. <laughs> Even the kids are hot. I also told her that I look at those photos because they reminded me of a time when a relationship was so new and how crazy we were. Is that fair? What? Just that the, the photos remind him, or do we believe him, I guess, that the photos remind him of this? I don't think it's an issue for him to want to keep the photos. I think the only issue is if she says, again, if she's like, he comes to her with this plea and he's like, hey, I want to keep the photos. And she says, I don't want you to, I want you to delete these intimate photos. That, in that case, if he keeps them after she says, Vice, I don't want you to keep these, then he's the a-hole. I've heard a lot of people say that, um, who who are like, you know, in their like 50s and 60s and older who say like looking back on pictures of me as a young woman and looking back at like being confident in my body is was really important having those pictures or people on the other side who like wanted those. Who are these people? A lot. No. What? 
<laughs> a lot of a lot of I don't know. I've had a lot of conversations with like older women who talk about like, oh, I wish I had like those types of pictures. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. I don't honestly, know. I don't know. <laughs> that is a I, I've just never I've never had the opportunity to chat with someone maybe in that you life should take stage. Some pictures, John. And you know, them. maybe I should stop being so ageist yeah. <laughs> and get it together. But yeah, I honestly I've never really that's never even crossed my mind before. But yeah, wow. There we go. <laughs> I believe. I believe. <laughs> are these people i believe op when he says that that's that was kind of the uh the point that i was uh interested in but i asked her if i did or say anything to make her feel bad about herself based on how she reacted as many of you guessed she said that it was not about what i did she just remembered how she looked in those photos and felt bad about herself she started saying things like i have let myself go and i wish i could be more disciplined etc etc i told her that i'm still very attracted to her and try to initiate whenever we are alone she agreed and thanked me for getting snipped else we would have a lot more kids running. Oh, God. However, she told me that I used to stare at her every time that she would change in front of me or with us in the shower. Now, I barely notice her even if she was standing butt naked right in front of me. She said that it does make her feel insecure about her body when oh, I do that. Yeah. I know she is right. Again, oh, I was just going to say, I feel like that's more so because you've gotten used to each other after. Yeah, I, I am guessing that OP's wife is making this more... The, the, insecurity, the insecurity is kind of feeding into... This. Exactly. I, I definitely feel that. That's at least to a small extent what's what's happening here. I know she is right, but after 15 years together, you kind of get used to each other's bodies, so I feel normal for that to happen to Sophia's point. I told her it would be hot and adventurous for her to send me some spicy photos now too. But she said there is no way she would feel comfortable taking pics like that now. Overall, I loved our conversation and I'm glad she talked about her insecurities to me. Finally, we started talking about the photos. She asked me if I pleasure myself looking at them and I told them I have in the past, especially when the kids were small okay she found that funny and cute <laughs> i don't know why that last detail was important but <laughs> okay like, i don't know i had more time to myself and the kids were, maybe I, I think if anything you have less That's time to I yourself think. with like young children I, I, confused as to why that comment was included but nonetheless she said that i had the entire internet to find corn and it's cute that i still looked at her pictures i think that is cute she said i should keep the photo okay she asked me to create two folders for her pictures, safe for work and not safe for work. She said that I can keep the uh, not safe for work folder hidden so the kids didn't find it. For the safe for work pics, she wants me to upload them to our iCloud as she wants to show those pics to our daughter. The, the safe for work. The safe, the for, safe work. for work, Sophia. The, safe for work. the safe for work. Get your mind out of the freaking gutter. Get your mind safe for work. <laughs> who's all the bo Who's the boys now? Guys, oh, I've been no. Riley for too long. No, so that's right. Sophia's been Riley for a whole uh... week. And it's going south. But she said that she is glad that I didn't delete the photos. Thanks again for everyone who commented. A lot of comments were really cute. And I got a nice perspective of what my wife was thinking. And a top commenter says, and this, my friends, how adults handle issues in a marriage. Well done, Opie. Yeah, you know what? I, George Jack Cooper says, is this two for two wholesome stories? Yes, it is. I think it is. I think uh, it's two for two wholesome. Also, two for two good communication and mediation in a relationship. To answer the, to answer the question, how should you handle issues and conflict in a marriage? Now... I got a big question for you, okay? And let's get a freaking poll up. Get a freaking poll. Was OP the a-hole for not deleting immediately? For not for not yeah. deleting, I guess you could say in the in the poll, uh, a hole for not deleting immediately, yes or no? Because like it's kind of tricky because he essentially he was very he was very cognitive and re and re receptive of what she said, but also didn't like acquiesce immediately, and it worked out in the end. Yeah, I think I think I I am hesitant to say that he is the a hole for that because he didn't keep it a secret from her. She asked him a second time. She said, "Did you delete the pictures?" He said, "No." Here are my reasons can we talk about a little more i think that you losing these pictures you will regret it in the long run also additional context the update was from literally the next yeah so day. this wasn't like this wasn't weeks it was we had a conversation last night and honestly i mean he might not even have had time that's what i was about to say like it could have even been just a purely logistical thing of like we went to bed we i got, got ready for work photos. <laughs> i just got oh yeah there's a lot of photos but yeah i think with all of that context that op he was not the a-hole and you mentioned something really important which is when she asked he told the complete truth how he felt and the fact that he hadn't done it yet and 87 percent of people are saying not the a-hole which i yeah i think i agree with that in our chat in our community and you know what i freaking agree um but you know what else i agree with what do you agree is that we should get one of our very own on the case do we have a potential caller take a little look-see-loo let's take a gander gander meander there's two 
Shoo. Do we have one that is, uh, or are they both relationship conflict rela related to the story? I should say. Groovy hippie chick has. Groovy hippie chick. Let's get. Let's get. Groovy hippie chick on the horn, like old people like me say. Let's do it. If you're able to scoot us also at Twitch. Yes. Yeah, that'd be great. And let me know when. Are on mute. Groovy hippie chick. Groovy hippie chick. Can you hear us? We can't hear you yet. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Please, please unmute. I want to talk to you. Groovy hippie chick. Groovy hippie chick, are you there? Well, you Sophia's launch. You? She's about to eat the cola. Groovy hip I actually like the 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 blown up view is actually a lot better. Good catch there. Groovy hippie chick. You want to be bigger? Groovy hippie chick. Groovy hippie chick. Okay. Let's okay, uh Groovy hippie chick. We have to We, we must might have to you. ring ring you back later. But let's uh give a ring to the second person in the queue. Oh, quite right. Right. Right, right. Um, right, Mouse. You're up. Mouse, can you hear me? Oh, wait. I, okay, now you're up. Can, mouse, can you hear me? Mouse, you're quiet as a mouse right now. <laughs> are you on mute? Can you hear us? Is your mic disconnected? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> can you, are you able to drag the Discord over to where we can both see it, Sophia? So, uh, Mouse, if you're... Okay, here we go. Oh, wait. Oh, you know what? I think... Is it the speaker, Sophia? Uh, it might be our fault. <laughs> I don't think... Say something again, Mouse. I see your thing highlighting. It, it seems... The computer sound is good. Computer sound Sound is good. Is it through? Do we know if it's routing through the speakers? Oh, sorry, everyone. Mouse, stay, stay there. But mouse, stay right where you are. Mouse, we cannot hear you move. at all. Also, I feel like this is probably the same thing that happened to me. Sorry, group. Oh my gosh, so sorry. Oh gosh, sorry. sorry, Mouse. Well, just you know what? You know what else I could do? Yeah. I could. Oh, um, can you? Yeah, let me do this now, and then we can try to figure out for the next caller. All right, Mouse, why don't you... Let me see if I can find you, Mouse. Let me see if I can find you. I think I found you. Mouse, I am... We are going to hang up hang on up this on you, call. We're going to call you back. <laughs> and I'm going to call you here. Let's try it out. Here we go. Can't tell. Here we go. Oh, Mouse, can you hear us? I kind of can. I am going to try to make it loud enough for the good people at home. Okay, uh, say, say hello one more time. Hello. Here we go. That should yes. do it. Success. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. We did not mean to silence you. Your voice is so important. So I wanted to ask, do you have a relationship conflict story similar to these and a resolution by chance? I actually have something similar. It wasn't necessarily, a, well, it kind of was a conflict, but it was similar to the last story we read with Spicy Picks. Yeah. Um, so a while back, a couple years ago, uh, I was working on the Texas border and we had communal showers, but they're like stalls. And someone put a camera in one of those showers and it was hidden. Oh my well, goodness. I had since been, this is where my insecurities came in to this. My, my husband, like, uh, I, you know, I would send, you know, because, you know, we're married. <laughs> Right. Uh, and so I became very insecure because I had taken a shower and some of those and I didn't know if they had gotten me on video. Yeah, wait, wait, and, is uh, this is this your employer at a tech support thing? Uh no, no. I was on the Texas border mission and we were we had a little camp set up. Uh, I see. And we had showers. Is that legal? Uh where they yeah, it was they're, they're showers. And it's it's kind of like military ish. I see, I see, and and it's like okay, so and are the are someone the are the cameras in pointing in the actual in. shower outside to like? Um, well, no. So someone snuck in and planted cameras. Somebody snuck in. Yes. Okay. Got. So this is 100% illegal because someone snuck in into this. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Got you. Reading comprehension 100%. Okay. Sorry. Please continue. No, you're totally I'm good. <laughs> well, it came up to the point where like I got really scared, so I had asked my husband to delete those photos of me, and he was confused at first, and I felt really uncomfortable but he actually ended up deleting them and I was really grateful but now that a few um a few years have passed I'm more comfortable with it again but with the last story I definitely think he the husband did right by um not well by mouse can you hear us oh no <laughs> we've, lost you. we've lost another one I was trying to fix this. mouse you it has gone silent this was sharing a mouse. very important story it, you've gone silent on our end i can't see your box highlighting with your voice anymore as well it might have cut off in your end maybe my end too i am not sure oh man this is this is the members only exclusive where we see all the things Hello? that happen oh here we go what happened there what we happened? go it disconnected me I'm we're sorry. back we're back we're back okay where was i, I um forgot. you uh, your husband you you asked your husband to delete that sorry was this you, how was and tell me if this asked too much was this your husband or how how was he able to to delete the photos um so he oh so he i i didn't uh actually know if i had gotten my my photos personal photos like taken or recorded while i was in the shower but i had him delete the photos of me personally because oh. they could have been out on the internet somewhere and i was scared and 
Right, for them to get insecure. like matched or anything like that. Or, yeah. yeah, just in general. Yeah, doesn't uh, matter. Yeah, you want them to believe. Got you. Okay. Yeah, he 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 actually did. He he did. Uh, we had to discuss it and everything like that, but it was still very scary. Oh, I can uh, I can only imagine. Did did they did they? And so, did you feel like that was like you ask your husband, he did it that, and that was kind of the end of it. Did it feel like a good resolution for you, just as far as you and your husband communicating? Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, there was there was a lot of discussion about it. Uh, he didn't want to. At first mm. i feel like mainly because of the same reasons as you know as OP. In the story but, yeah uh and we're we're both military so we don't get to see each other that often so like mm. having those might help him out whenever i'm we yeah. can't talk to each other got you um, and so in, in closing i'm curious to ask your opinion do you think that op because you were kind of in more in the wife's position in in, in, in the story very s similar story um and thank you for sharing again do you think that op's husband did handle it well all things considered or i think he handled it very well Okay. Um, I know that he didn't delete them right away, um, which was my main stance at the very beginning. But as he went on, like, you can notice his thoughts of wanting to talk to his wife about it a little bit more. Yeah. And so that's why he, that was his main, I think that was his main reason for not, for not, you know, uh, deleting them automatically. And then whenever she, she said it was okay, he was able to keep them. He was able to, but if she said no, I have a feeling he would have deleted them anyways, because he respects his wife that much. Yeah. Great, great perspective. And from someone who's literally been in the wife's shoes. My goodness. Well, Mouse, thank you so much for coming on and sharing your story today. And we we made it happen. Because <laughs> the world didn't want to hear your story, but gosh darn it, we made it happen. So thank you. Of course. Awesome. Bye. Have a good one, Mouse. Bye. Bye. Cool. So, wow. It's so crazy. Yeah, everyone's how, always like, got a story that relates. It's literally like basically, you know, different circumstances, but the same thing ultimately. And yeah, that, that if anything, affirms to me more that, that OP is not the yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what time are we at, Sophia? We're at 11 12. I'm sorry, 1 12. 1 12. That means, ladies and gentlemen, if you love us, make sure to subscribe. We love you and, and see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.